do you feel puppetry is in an ascension is more popular or less what is your observation towards the world um, right now so i i think it's more popular than it's ever been but it like any form it you know it's going to go in and out of fashion um so for me it's it seems like it's more popular uh, the internet is a form that is extremely friendly to puppets mm-hmm. um i've been doing uh you know at as a writer and public speaker i have been doing presentations for people using puppets on how to use puppetry techniques to make the to to make themselves more interesting in uh, in 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 our tiny little box here yeah um but but also like i i see more and more puppets being passed around on the internet um it's it, it it varies you know right now nothing is in the ascension because uh hello <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> but but puppets you know again they you know we are used to being in this box uh. and and meat puppets are not Yeah. But that's so interesting that you you bring that knowledge to people like to to people who are not puppeteers to bring mm-hmm. their this understanding of a puppet and what it could takes if they are aware of. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's like, you know, aggressive passive passive and regressive motion. You're interested in something, lean into it. You know? In <laughs> shove back it's like, "Whoa." It's like yeah. it just makes it a little more dynamic. Use your side to side. <laughs> Storytelling goes left to right on the screen. Don't marry your thing so that you can move left to right and see it happen. Look, we're making progress towards our goal. <laughs> That's so great. I'm so, such a nerd. <laughs> no, I feel I feel it's I I want a lot of people have this knowledge to to be aware of of this the screen this puppetry mm. thing i i feel even for myself i i got so much understanding of life by practicing the art of puppetry so i feel you are yeah. the same yes yes indeed <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i love that and uh, i i want to know also um your um your like If people want to see more of you, I know you are writing. So, h- how we can get into more of the world of Mary Robinette? Uh, so, the easiest thing is to sign up for my newsletter, and then then we just send you messages about here are the things that I'm doing. Um, but uh, so, if you go to my website, um, if you follow me on Twitter, YouTube has. Um, if you're interested in puppets. YouTube is probably the place to go because I have a lot of um older videos of of me building things. I rarely build things on commission anymore. Um mm. so uh but but if you're interested in in like what does it look like when someone is preparing for an audition? You can watch me prepare for an audition. <laughs> It's like, "Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, well that was a choice." <laughs> 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 That's great. And and we have Patricia who who just add that my son say I was a nerd. <laughs> yeah, Patricia. Yes. Nerds are brilliant people. We have yes. Mark also who asked. This Yeah. Now this is uh, if if we're talking about anything that's in ascension right now, nerds are in ascension right now. <laughs> that's great. Yes. And do you have Mary maybe a puppet or another cat or something? Like that? <laughs> yeah. Um so I I uh I brought um I brought a rehearsal puppet. Um uh, Oh, I can go bigger with the screen like this. Oh, yeah, hey. Yeah. <laughs> so, um yeah. I mean, you know, Uh I was built in about um half an hour. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. But I I uh I dress I shop at Build a Bear because <laughs> um very handy, super great. Uh so that's Lee. Um and I actually have a uh like six episodes of a podcast or web series because I'm terrible at getting it done. Um where Lee it's uh talk to the hand. Lee gives you publishing advice about being a writer. <laughs> um and then the other thing that I brought which is one of my favorite puppets is a dinner napkin. Um 
So this is this is my favorite trick for teaching someone about puppets is I take a dinner napkin and I tie a knot in the end of it. And someone's always, you know, like you get stuck at a party or a thing. It's like but someone's like, but what is puppets? Like, how do puppets work? <sighs> and so um, so I'm like, OK, focus indicates thought. What your puppet is looking at is what it's thinking about. Breath indicates emotion. <sighs> sad puppet is sad. <laughs> <laughs> Muscle puppet can move by itself. You know, <laughs> meaningful movement. I came from over there. I'm going over there. It's nice talking to you. Goodbye. Yay. So. You're there. so precise. Look. You're so <laughs> precise. I love it. Thanks. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's it's <laughs> no, but it, it's, it's great to have some knowledge and, and just bring the way you explain the art form. I feel that that's really interesting because we we got your also educational skills because we have to educate as puppeteer right. our fellow family that sometimes don't understand why we are so into that <laughs> right yeah there's a um a saying in science fiction uh pay it forward and you know i i know this like aggressive, passive, regressive, focus, breath, all of that. I know that because Peter Hart at the Center for Puppetry Arts trained me. Um, Dee Braxton took me on as an intern when I was just like, puppets? Um, and and every time, it's, I love this community, every time I'm like, I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to figure out a thing. And someone's like, well, here, here are all of my books, or I can show you that. Um, and... Uh, yeah, it's it's so much better than the uh, the the days in the you know in in the eighteen hundreds um, when if you wanted to learn puppets you had to go like lie on the floor and look up at the marionette bridge and try to figure out what what are they doing up there? Yeah. Yes, backstage. Yeah, we have the the knowledge also more accessible with yeah with online stuff, and that's true that we can share that. And I, I want to to have you. Uh, plug your book because I I know it's part of your practice and oh. and a lot of people enjoy what you're doing so yeah let's do this <laughs> perfect so I write science fiction and fantasy calculating stars is uh, Apollo era science fiction um, basically I slam an asteroid into Washington D C in 1952 which kicks off the space program at a time when um, the uh, computers are still women, so if you want to send a computer into space, you have to send a woman. Um, so uh, it's uh, we're three books into the series now. The most recent one, yeah, no, like I'll do the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I just happen to have these books here. How yeah. what a weird coincidence! <laughs> I want to read it. <laughs> Uh, Relentless Moon is a uh, standalone, even though it's technically book three, um, but you can read it by itself, and it's. Um, it's a thriller set on the moon. Um, and whoops. Uh, yeah. So um, if you want to try one, it's the most recent one. You can just read that or you can read all three or none. I'm fine with that. You can also go to my website if you're just like, I just want to try something. Um, go to my website, maryrobinettcoal.com. And uh, there's a tab. Uh, there's a um, thing in now I can't remember the way my old own website is laid out, but there's a section of uh, free fiction which just links mm. to stuff that I, that's posted and available online, so you can take a chance without having to like fork out any money or get me from the library. I love libraries. <laughs> that's great. I I'm so curious about it. I, and and the, does the those book are translate just in case? Um. So the French version just came out. It is available. Um, uh, um, oh, I was not prepared for that. I should have, because I knew that you were French and I did not even think about it. It is just on the other side of the curtain. I could run and grip it. It's, uh, uh, Vincent, uh, Vincent, 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 it's towards the stars, but in French. Vers les étoiles. Ve, ve, yes. <laughs> yes. That is what it is. <laughs> That's great. I, I can't wait to, to see that. It, yeah. I, my English is good, but for reading, I, I will maybe prefer the French version. So we yeah. have a question from the crowd, and yes. I, I will bring that for our conclusion because it's a great question. So it's from Rob Brown who say, do you have any advice for how to pitch a puppet show to a television network? 
So that is outside of my area of expertise. But what I can tell you from、uh, from friends who do this is that、uh, that you you need to be able to explain why the story is relevant to a modern audience,、um, and you need to also explain why why puppets.、Um, the person that I would recommend following on Twitter is、uh, and and Instagram is Raymond Carr. Um, C A R R、uh, is Ninja Puppet, I think, on Instagram. Great,、uh, great guy, and、uh, and is doing.、Um, he he is actively pitching things and、um, and knows like that that is a side of the industry that I have not had to do.、Um, but、uh, but the the those are the things. Every time I I talk to someone who is pitching something,、um, that's the advice that I always hear. Know why you're telling the story, why it's relevant to a modern audience, and and why puppets. That's so cool. That's that's an advice in itself. That's great. <laughs> Just start from there, and after go to, go grab some other advice, and, and, then, and then find an actual expert. <laughs> <laughs>